Hundreds of power boats, mini jets and paddlers have hit the water for the second day of WA's iconic river race. It was a wild ride right up until the end for some as they crossed the finish line of this year's Avon descent. Crashing across the finish line. To the marina section here at the city of Bayswater to claim a back-to-back -back victory. I think our exact words were let, let's lick the stamp and send it today. That's what we did, so yeah. Paddlers and power boaties hungry for more white water mayhem on day two of this year's Avon Descent. Competitors getting in the zone. This is just the pre-race deep breath position. We're just chilling out, just thinking about what we have to do today. <laughs> and making their game plans clear. Finish. Simple, just beat the river. Hundreds tackling the rocky rapids in the final 72 kilometre stretch to Bayswater. Day two, we blitzed it. Smashed it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, completely stoked with how we went. There was a couple of maybe near misses. Michael Prosser and Justin Green again powerboat champions. There were a few rapids that I was, as we're coming down the river, we're talking about it, nervous about, and uh, Bells in particular, there's a lot of people there, that's a great place to, to stack it. <laughs> but then we thought, well, we'll just save that until after the time has stopped and we'll do that at the finish line here and just send it up the wrong way. Luke Dooley, the fastest solo paddler. My last 30 k's was all by myself and I didn't have any help and that headwind was so strong, it's so hard to just keep going by yourself. But yeah, it's all worth it now. Josh Kippen and Brendan Rice, the first relay team to finish. The Avon Descent's an annual highlight for race regulars and despite putting their minds and bodies to the ultimate test over the last two days, some competitors are already setting their sights on next year's event. I will be back next year. This is my 27th, so I'll, I'll keep going as long as my body lets me. Brianna Inferreira, 410 News First.